Good morning, boys and girls. And good morning to you, Mel Pisga, and anyone else who happens to be watching. I have some treats here that I thought I would share. But they're treats that I don't think you would enjoy very much. These are dog treats. And so I have my, my puppy, Rupp, here. He just jumped off my lap. We've had Rupp for several years. And whenever Rupp was a puppy, we trained him to do a few tricks. And so since we're doing the Children's Sermon Home Edition today, I thought I would show you some of the tricks that Rupp can do for us. Rupp, sit. Sit. Good boy. Good job, Rupp. Rupp, lay down. Down. Good job. You did it. And boys and girls, this is my favorite one that Rupp does. Dance. So Rupp, dance. Dance. Look, dance. 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 Come on, buddy. Dance. Good job. Good boy. You did it a little bit. You see, dogs have learned that if they will do these tricks that we ask them to do, that we're going to praise them and we're going to give them treats. And a lot of times people act like that too. They want to give God praise and they want to give God thanks whenever things are going really well. But sometimes whenever things aren't going very well, they don't give God thanks and they don't praise Him. So I'm going to read some scripture for you. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18. It says, Rejoice always, pray constantly, give thanks in everything, for this is God's will. So the Bible teaches us very clearly there that we should thank God no matter what's going on, not just whenever things are really good outside. So right now things are scary. Right now things are a little bit troublesome for us. And, and you know, that doesn't mean that we shouldn't praise God and we shouldn't give God thanks. So my challenge to you, boys and girls, is that you go outside this week and you look for something to thank God for. You know, the weather's getting warm. Spring is finally here. And so maybe you'll have a few days where you can go outside. Maybe you can go out and play. And while you're out playing, look at the trees that are blooming. Look at the flowers that are starting to bloom. Look at the grass that's growing. Think about the warm air. So there are all kinds of things that you can thank God for. Thank God that you have food that you're able to eat. Thank God that you have your health. So guys, let's do exactly what the Bible taught us. And let's thank God no matter what. Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you for these boys and girls who are watching right now and anybody else who's watching God. And I just pray that you will give them a spirit of peace, that you will just comfort them through this dark and scary time. And, and I just pray that they will learn and that they will know that you are in control and that you've got this. And we know that you're going to work all things for good. God, we love you, we praise you, and we thank you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So everyone, I encourage you to make sure to, to look at our Facebook page here in a few minutes. Brother Bill is going to have his sermon posted, so be sure to check that out. You can listen to it on podcast, or you can watch the video on YouTube. Everyone have a good rest of the day.